Seniors in need of specialized care forced out of their street, or forced out of their home on the street from an assisted living facility there. The Department of Children and Families now investigating after families were left just scrambling to find some help. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith live tonight to explain the last minute move. Ryan. Well, several seniors here in Bradenton, guys, counted on Rudy's Agape House for quality health care and a place to live. Up until just this week, when their families were frantically forced to move them out with just hours notice. For years, Rudy's Agape House helped care for some of the area's most dependent seniors. Everyone at that facility was Alzheimer's dementia. But today, residents and staff are gone. My mother's very confused and I'm sure the other patients are uh, confused as well. Harry Trailer got the call Wednesday night. The assisted living facility owner told him he had just 36 hours to get his mother and all her stuff out. It is not a, a 24 hour process. This is a week's type process normally to move someone. So it was shocking. Court records show owner Nancy Cushman is several months behind on rent. The landlord's attorney tells ABC Action News they warned Cushman about a possible eviction months ago. Why didn't you just have the honesty to come to me and say, hey, something's going on. I'm trying to work through it, but you need to look for an alternative. Gloria Trailer is in a new home tonight. The cottages of Braintit is now caring for half of Rudy's former residence. But her son worries other families are still scrambling, not knowing where to go next. There's a lot of them over there that these poor people are working two, three jobs. I mean, they are right at the edge to, to making ends meet. Nancy Cushman tonight did not want to go on camera, but told me that she claimed she only got a 24 hour eviction notice. A claim the landlord here denies. We also want to mention, according to DCF, this is the agency's fourth investigation into Rudy's since 2010. Live in Brainton tonight, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.